Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these sparkly snowflake winter earrings. They are made with the sparkly snowflake collection of Beading School by Erika Sandor. They were so kind to send me their collection and down there in the description you will find a link if you want to check it out. Here I'm using amazing beads. You see these diamond dual beads and this long dagger two hole beads. I like them so much and I never worked before with such beads. That is why I was so inspired for this particular work. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make new tutorials usually two times a week and you will be inspired often. Down there in description you will find besides link to this collection and other beautiful collections also a link to the unboxing video that you could also he see here at the eye icon and a link to the other unboxing videos that I did and you will also find link to my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips, link to my store, link to all my social networks uh, where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching guys. Now I will start in most details with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so as I told you, in this tutorial I'm using the beads from the Sparkly Snowflake collection of Beading School by Erika Sandor. I use here one of my personal favorite beads in this collection, which are those diamond dual beads. They are in a diamond shape and have two holes from this side and from this side. I'm also using these daggers that are 16 by 5 millimeters. They are really rare beads and I like them so much. Uh, here I have 6mm pearls, earring findings from my own stash. And here I have 3mm bicons that are in this beautiful silver metallic color. I use monofilament but you could use fireline for this project. Uh, this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take 1.2 meters of thread or 4 feet of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is take one of these dagger two hole beads, you see, and I will go in my with my needle through its inner hole that is closer to this side, okay? Now I'm going to take one diamond door and I'm sliding it down as well. And then guys, I'm going to repeat this until I have five daggers and five diamond door beads here. I'm alternating them all the time. Okay, and now what I have are five diamond dual beads and five dagger beads and don't worry that it looks strange at this point. Now what I want to do is go one more time holding my tail thread through all of those beads here because I want to reinforce them to stay in a nice and a better shape like in a circle. Okay guys, and I'm going around and when I reach here, my tail thread, when I meet those two threads together, what I want to do is make a knot and I will stick my needle in my mat and here 
I will make a knot by making a loop and going once then what I do is that I go second time through this loop I've made then I pull and I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure and pull again okay now guys I have this beautiful circle of beads here now in my next step what I want to do is exit through one of those daggers here okay just like this and I'm going to take one of my pearls and go through one of the opposite daggers in the same direction where my thread is originally pointing to I will go through it just like this okay and now this bead is in the center of my work just like that okay guys so after that I go through the second hole of the dagger you remember there was a second hole here and I go in this direction now what I want to do is to take two seed beads and I go here through this diamond dual bead then I take two more seed beads, I go through the second hole of the dagger. So at this stage I'm going through the second hole of the diamond dual and through the second hole of the dagger. And I'm adding two of these beautiful seed beads here. Okay, two. And I'm going onto the second hole of this diamond dual. And now at this stage everything will stay in a better shape. Okay, go here. Okay, and I will continue this up to here and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. And you see when I continue my work how everything straightens up. And I'm adding here my last two silver beads from this row and I'm going to start my next row and for my next row what I want to do is exit here at the top of one of those diamond dual beads and what I'm going to take is one of this beautiful three millimeter beads by cons and then I'm taking my diamond dual going through one of its holes then in my next step I'm taking five of these silver beads this beautiful 15-0 silver beads okay then I go through the other hole of the same super dual in this direction then I take just one of these bicons again and I go through the hole of the same super duo. Okay guys then I will repeat this action. I'm going here through these two silver beads. Then what comes next is to go through the second hole of my dagger again one more time and then through the following two seed beads these beautiful 15 ohms that I mentioned okay and now I will go here through this hole and I will repeat what I did before I'm taking one three millimeter bicon, one super dual and five 15 oh seed beads. Okay, so this is what I have on my needle. Now I'm going through the second hole of the same 
Super Duo, uh, Diamond Duo, sorry. Okay, going through the Diamond Duo. Okay, and here I'm taking a bicon, and what I do is that I go here through the hole of the same Diamond Duo. Okay, you see what I do? What I do is that I pull and now I will continue these steps until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. If you forgot what I'm doing just rewind the video, see those two steps and repeat them three more times and meet me. And I'm almost ready and what I need to do next is go here through some beads in this direction I mean through all of those beads here around the edges and reinforce my work one more time because I don't want my work to move around to bend around to be soft that is why it's uh, better to use monofilament or fireline for this project and not a softer thread because your work will bend otherwise and won't stay in a nice shape okay so now i will continue this one more time and when i'm ready and back to this point i will be back to tell you how to attach your earring finding Okay guys, and after I made this reinforcement, I'm exiting here at the same place where I started it from. And what I need to take is my earring finding and I'm going to take two seed beads. Then I will take my earring finding. Then I'm going to take two more. And what I have is this. Then what I do is that I go back through this middle seed bead of the five that I have here. So from both sides I have two beads. Okay. And what I'm going to do is reinforce this part several times. Okay, and after I make this reinforcement, I will find a place to make a knot. Okay, I'm going here in this direction. And let's say I will make my knot here uh, between this diamond do and this bicon. And I will make it by making here. A loop then I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made I pull then I go through the following bit and I could repeat this knot several more times when I'm ready I always go through the following seed bit and I cut my thread okay guys and now my sparkly snowflake earring is ready okay guys and now my sparkly snowflake winter earrings are ready as i told you i made them with the sparkly snowflake collection from beading school by erica sandor and i'm so grateful that they sent me those beautiful beads to make it if you want to see the unboxing of this collection and other unboxing videos check out this eye icon and down there description i have links down there to this collection and to a full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials 
And you could also check my second channel Bijutel Fast Clips for new inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.